Hey, welcome to Vice Grip Garage and the third annual Moonshine 9000. This is a timed off-road race with a kick. We're hauling some moonshine. Break a bottle, adds to your time. Lose the hood, that's bad. Five second penalty. I've got a handful of racers out here with me today. We're at the beautiful, recently renamed Carol Baskin Speedway. Things just come out here and mysteriously disappear. We're going to be running the same car to keep it fair. It's a highly prepared and modified 2003 Pontiac Bonneville with at least 900 horsepower and a roll cage. But we're going to see what we can do out here. Stay tuned. This is going to be a lot of fun. So we've got a total of five drivers today, so I'm gonna introduce them all to you really quick so you get to know them fellers a little bit. And we'll do a quick walk around the race car here that we're actually currently sitting in. She's ready to go. And then we're gonna explain the rules a little bit better and then let her rip. First driver hails from Rapid City, South Dakota. is Sean Beery. How long have you been running race cars now, Sean? Well, I've been driving field. Running <laughs> <laughs> field. <laughs> So how long have you been running race cars, John? I've been driving through stubble fields since I was about six years old, so I feel this should be right up my area of expertise. You're at home, this is where you race. Yep. What's your uh, technique today? You have any kind of technique you're going after? Well, I'm gonna give her the old shifter from one to three, instead of just letting it sit in third, you know? Well, you're so, gonna slap shift yeah, I'm gonna slap shift it. Tokyo Drift this thing, get some more HPs out of it. Yep, that's the plan. Got it. Well, good luck to you. Just keep her to the floor and probably wear the seat belt, I'm yeah. guessing. Do they work? I'm not sure. Is there one in here? Yeah, it's here. Oh, That's good. good. My next driver is from Stanley, North Dakota. He drove all the way here about seven miles. Chance Beery, what's your uh, driving experience out here on the racetrack? None. That's good. And uh, what's your technique or plan today to bring home the checkered flag? Go as fast as I can. That sounds like a solid plan. My next racer you're familiar with, it's Chris Beery. He hails from Blaisdell, North Dakota. Drove a whopping 948 feet to get here. How are you doing today? That's good. And uh, what kind of experience you got out here on the Carol Baskin Speedway? Oh, yep, that makes sense. And uh, what's your plan or technique today to bring home the checkered flag? Oh, solid, solid plan. Well, good luck to you today and try to keep her greasy side down. Our next racer is Scott the Digger. He's from Blaisdell, North Dakota. And uh, what's your racing experience out here? I've raced, this will be my second race. First one I lost to a turtle. I have run shine a lot with my grandma, but not in a car this nice. Okay, well, that's a little intimidating. He's already ran it before. Yeah, do you have any sort of plan today to bring home the checker flag out here? I'm gonna say hard and fast. This thing handles like it's on rails. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, well, we'll see. Good luck to you. My next driver is Basker. He hails from Thunderhawk, South Dakota. He's already ready to go. Almost declined an interview, but he's here with us today. What's your experience out here, Baxter? Wow, that's that's pretty good. And do you have any sort of plan today to win this race? So again, to keep this fair, we're going to all use the same racing machine. We spent several days preparing this unit here. It's highly modified, race ready, fully prepped. We're estimating right around between 9 to 1,000 horsepower minus about 850 horsepower, give or take. We did lose a grill on a preliminary run. I mean, that's how fast it is. It just peels the stuff right back. Modified air box. I'm not even sure what else we ended up on. I know the exhaust is modified. We lost it on the way here. Clearly a race car. Oh, this side has 2,000 horsepower, I guess. Must be the power tire. Um, some sort of sponsor. I'm not quite sure what that is or from who. This is the hood. We cannot lose this. It's a five second penalty if we lose that hood. Come around back here, you can clearly see that this is for racing purposes only. It is not weight induced, there's zero rust on this thing, so it should handle really well. We might already have 
on fire. I'm not quite sure what that means either. Inside is not factory whatsoever. Again, we've got safety precautions in here. There's an extinguisher somewhere, 19 point harnesses. And the roll cage you can't see because she's tucked up in here, but it's there. Everything works in this thing, so it should be pretty fair. The track goes up this hill. I'm not sure, maybe a mile? No, not that far. At the end, there's a rock pile. We gotta dig around that and come back. Right over here is the start stop line. This will be a timed event. And again, we're carrying shine in the trunk, which I'll show you in a second. You break a bottle, it's a one second penalty. There's six per crate. So you can lose six seconds there and whatever five plus six is total if you lose the hood. So here's our setup here. Um, this is really clean water out of the well up here, but we're gonna just pretend it's moonshine. You know, you don't wanna break actual product. We're gonna leave plenty of flop in here, so there's a lot of technique and skill involved. You gotta go as quick as you can, but you just you can't break these. Again, they're a second each. This is the grill in case you want to put that on. It's up to the driver if they want front end modifications. And that's it for back here. By the way, I almost forgot to mention, we do have a first and second prize today and it's amazing. This is our driver list. We got Sean, Scott, Chance, myself, and then Trang is gonna bring her up on the end. Uh, Sean, you need to back up about 98 feet. The start line is clearly marked and you're trying to cheat already. Yep! There we go. Any uh, final thoughts here, Sean, before you hit the track? Well, I hope the dirt just keeps down on the ground so I can see. Well, we just watered this. I mean, it seems fine. Yeah, the track is in great condition today, overall. Well, we put some manure down. We picked up all the rocks. We didn't want anything damaging the oil tank. But I see your concern. It might get a little, just a little dusty, maybe, up at the turn. Timer ready? I'm ready, you are. All right, we'll do the three, two, one, go, okay? Three, two, one, go. That's a solid start. <laughs> He's actually going uh, pretty fast. Here comes Sean, first run of the day. <laughs> Overall, the car is pretty tight, I think. Handles well? Yeah, it handles really well. well we put a lot of time into it. Pop the trunk and see the shine stats. There we go. Oh, we got some movage up here. They're all intact. We've still got six. No leaks. Look at all the dirt that comes out of the faucet up there. That's real shine, that's why. All right, successful run. What was the time? 4148. 4148. We're gonna try to get her into the car. Maybe just a rock. We could just scrape it in, maybe. You got an acronym in trouble. Do you? What happened? I got it. Perfect. All right, Scott's up next. We're going to reset the racetrack. We've got safety personnel at three different locations up here. We've got a radio in to make sure they're good. Scott's going to get suited up and buckled in, and then we'll let him cut loose here. All right, Scott, the digger's ready to rock. Any last words? You good? Good. All right, man. Three, two, one, go! Solid takeoff. Veer to the right a little bit, maybe for traction. Not sure. The clanking is so bad. That 
looks like a solid run. What do we got for time? 39.8. 39.8, new track record. Let's see if he'll bring it back to the pits here. 39.80, new track record. Did you uh, veer to the right for traction purposes or did the horsepower the just horse pull you? Power. Yeah, it just grabbed you over. Let's check the shine status when I hit the clicker on the key fob. That's a digital trunk. Looking good. Still got six jars, no leaks. You can hear them clanking about 100 yards away. <laughs> All right, you got it scribed in? This is what we're looking at. So I can't do math, but I think that's about a second faster. Sean thinks he let off just a touch too early down here in the straightaway. So that's something that Chance is going to learn because he's right here. He's going to keep her in it. So Chance will get suited up. We should do a hook check. Yep, that's fine. And uh, he'll let her rip and see how he does. We're checking on the race car here. She's smelling a little hot. And we had some smoke. Oh, she's holding 200. Yeah, and I think it has about four pounds of oil pressure, which is right above the red. So that seems like way too much. All right, Chance, you ready? Yeah. All right, three, two, one, go! Excellent start. Chance. Forty oh eight. Ooh, this is gonna be a tight competition. We've got a forty oh eight. Let's see how he feels about that. Forty oh eight. I think that puts you in second place. How's that feel? Good. How's the car running? Did the tubular A arms adjustment go yeah. good? Yeah. That's perfect. It is good. That's good. Oh, we got plenty of smoke. I think that just means it's running and it has oil. Oh yeah, we're, I think we lost the valve cover gasket, but that's okay. Did anyone check this oil actually? I'm just gonna pull it out so there's nothing. Oh, okay. Maybe we should just glance at that. You just said there's plenty of oil, so. <clears throat> Oh, going to tell him has a ruin now, Scott. Oh, yeah, we're good. Oh, yeah. That even looks good. Oh, you keep adding, you never have to change it. Uh, who's next? Me, I think. Okay. Well, I'll get uh, suited up here. Yeah, I'll let this thing go. Then we got train following up here at the end. He's wanting to get all the. Uh, previous runners down so he can kind of get some tips and tricks and see what we're doing. He's pretty competitive. And here's what our lineup's looking like. Wow, that's really close. They're all within like four liters of each other. So this is going to be tight. Derek is getting into a new set of tracks here. Make sure he's got optimum traction. I'm going to reline up to the tree here. I don't think I got the optimal position. How do you turn these wipers off? Oh. See? Oh. Yep. Okay. No, he's got to come forward. Oh, the same There you go. He's got the stopwatch. Ready. Three.
think I pooched the top part. Well, I just had too much power. I think I went into corner one way too fast. And when I went into corner one again, it was too fast still. Yeah. So when I came out of quarter one, I just fed her the onion. Seen know. that. But overall, I think it was a pretty solid run. What'd I get? 40.69. Dang! <laughs> you started out slow, try not to spin. Yep. You know what? I think that puts him in what? Second? How do you read decimals? I wonder if I just fed it off the line. Yeah. You started out, you could tell it slowed you down. This is where I'm going to lose, I think. Oh, we got tippage in here. One. They're all intact. Unbelievable. Oh. That one's not leaking. That's good tap water. I grew up on this stuff, Scott. That's why you had to drink beer, because the water was going. <laughs> and, awesome, we'll reset these chance I can't reach. Can you help me with these? Well, Scott, the digger's just going to dig in there. Well, if that didn't break them, then I think I'll just do this. Well, you just keep them in front of you. I'll just throw this up here for good measure. Yeah, okay, that. there we go. Yeah, let's screw that up. Alright. Okay, whiskey's all reset. Six were not broken, they're all staged, middle of the trunk, ready to go. All right, any last words? Yep. Okay, so on three, you can go. One, two, three, go. I think the car sounds a little boggy, isn't yeah, it? it does. I think the car might be a little tired. I don't know if that was a advantage or not going last for a guy. on the rev limiter not shifting probably cost them about 15 seconds 4483 going on oh I guess we got a little hill climb. I've never seen a Bonneville climb a hill like that. It was pretty impressive. I've got some of the trophies here in my hands. I'm gonna walk them up the hill here to Winter Circle and get these dispersed. I think I got last place actually, second last. I don't know. Surprisingly, even though we laid all these out on the floor hoping they'd break and didn't put them in the crate, none of them busted. That's pretty surprising. Okay, what are our times over here? Sean, so first place is Scott, second place Chance, third place me, fourth place Sean, and, and Krang bought up fifth, is that five? Fifth? So, Bradley's gonna ease her down for us. Oh, whoop, <laughs> yep, well. Yep, 
he's gonna ease it down there and we're gonna park it with the rest of our racing machines we've got a couple back here from previous moonshine 9000s we could probably go check those out too real quick the wind died down for a split second we got a couple of our other race machines down here they've been uh you know these we went a little bit harder with these um this one uh, got side swiped in this unit here and you know i took a hit and this guy i'm trying to remember i think i got hit in the front and it broke the tie rod on it but this has a turp ski on it and we did a custom injection setup over here i mean it was really fast see performance filter all that stuff it would probably run but i think it took a 60 cal right to the heart there and this is the shot that kind of took me out of commission on this unit but i think we'll bring this other one in and just slip it in probably right here and just uh let her lie on the field of dreams up here well i think that's going to do it for this episode of ice grip garage another successful moonshine 9000 in the books we had some stiff competition today we had some really close numbers car ran great i'm glad we put a lot of preparation into that unit it's a fine machine them v6s are just they take a lot of abuse next one maybe we'll add a couple different cars or mix it up a little bit with some different things like trucks and vans i don't know bleep bloop it down there in the comments for me let me know what you want to see and we'll put that in the next moonshine 9000 thank you guys for watching very much we'll see you next time